So we're back now. I think we're going to get rolling here. Yeah, I'm going with Ruben on the left, and that's Felix on the right. Yes, it's Felix on the right, and Ruben is on the left. And it uh, starts off with a fortunate effort. Now, these are three out of five matches. Yes, best of five again. Best of five, okay. Look at that ball control, but uh, room just uh, two quick stabs, two quick stabs, and he really just sees that opportunity and scores. Look how tight that angle was. It, not that he meant it, but it went right between the men in the tightest possible. Wow, what a beautiful five! He has a beautiful five bar control. You can really tell the control on the five bars. Very, very strong. Yeah, he hits that ball with authority. Pretty solid play. Was looking where Ruben is heading and then just throws the other way and mm -hmm. just scored. So we now got a little bit back and forth and Ruben has now the, the ball in his defensive line and is attempting to pass what he manages to do. Two to the five. You know, two to the five. When I first started seeing two to the five, it was Dieter Thiele, who's a German legend in the late 80s on Tornado. But uh, Frederic obviously took it to a new level, and Tony Spreadman has taken it to another level. But it's now it's kind of standard play, passing two to the five, all kinds of options. Look at the ball control and the speed and accuracy that they can do that. It gives them the extra possession. It's a, an incredibly smart way to play. And look at that technique. That's really what class. Yeah, it's, it's a really good control. It's my first time I seeing him live, either of these players live for sure. That's the second pull side in a row. So after a, a quick jump out in a 2-0 lead, Felix has stormed back with two points of his own earned from the three bar and Ruben with a quick pickup and he goes, I think that's a push side flip. Yeah, these guys are um, sharp on this table. And I already talked to Felix about his technique and playing style. He just uh, he says that he's really concentrating on himself and not on the opponent and the pressuring yeah. situations besides that. So we're really going to see one hell of an offensive match from Felix because he just doesn't care who his opponent is. And I love that defense from Felix. That defense is a very controlled. You see a lot of defenses that move at a more frenetic pace. Look, look at how slow it is, how methodical it is. He's not rushing. He's not jumping out. He's dictating terms, and and Ruben scored anyway, but I love that style of defense. Yeah. Yeah, but Chase Pennell says it looks like Bobby Diaz for sure. We have some Americans that took advantage of that real slow style of defensive movement. Bobby Diaz is one of them. So at its highest levels, foosball is like chess because the, you see the physical skill is pretty equivalent. It's the decision making and the advantages that are created over time and taken and, and leveraged. And um, Ruben was lucky to get those first two points. And what a beautiful, like either split or kind of semi-split angle shot that he shot there. Yeah, I think he's scoring. Looked like a split to me. Yeah, it was a split, but it, it, it uh, my angle, my the view, my view was not that clear. I couldn't see if it was a, a, a straight split or kind of an angle split. Regardless, look at that. <laughs> Ruben just standing in one place and letting him um, pass the ball back and forth until he gets the recovery. I didn't quite catch that, and now Felix has possession, but. Uh, it looks like he's not attempting to shoot from back, from the back, so... What, what has changed about the 2-5 to the five series is how much shooting they do with their left hand. They'll do uh, have interesting ways to score or to pass to their three bar with the left hand. Okay. <coughs> okay, so... And he goes uh, push side again. I was speaking to how there's these opportunities to create space and have leverage and take advantage of situations. He got the two breaks in the beginning. So we're now in the second set and uh, Felix is starting the play here on his five side. Gets it through with a beautiful pass. And he's shooting a rollover uh, snake shot. Ah, a good save. Tried it uh, down the middle, but uh, Ruben just... Uh, Ruben's got the pickup. He's got the rebound. That. And he keeps getting the possessions, and we'll call those hustle possessions. He's hustling and getting the ball back. 
Uh, and a nice save from the Helix here as well. Beautiful two to the five pass. He goes for the quick five bar shot and lucky with the stab attempt that Ruben didn't score that point. That's a really intense nil nil right now. Ball control. And as you can see, it's really, really nice. Really more of a chess game right now than foosball, I think. That was the quick pass. He, he set it up in a pin position. He didn't know what he was going to do with it. Passed it along the wall, picked it up, shoots a quick push side. And it's been picked up, it's been recovered by Ruben, who's now going to go two to the five, we're assuming. And he flubbed that. That was a mistake. He, he gave Bad that one up to Felix. Yep. Another Good block. Save. Mm -hmm. And a pull side. Now there's another match going on somewhere. I'm sure it's a quarterfinal match. People are screaming across the way, so we'll get an update. I think it's another quarterfinal elimination match where people are losing their minds. <laughs> I was a little more subdued on this match in the crowd because it's Germans against Germans, and maybe none of the Germans want to root against each other. Those kind of points right there, those are, are easy points that you don't have to work so hard for, and those are the kind of points that turn matches. So Felix had to work very hard to score a point, and then Ruben gets a quick one, mm. real quick one. Yeah, but uh, Ruben now has a very hard task to move up himself again and loses it here very unluckily. So, so he kept his ha left hand back there and Felix shot a pull kick. And Ruben didn't even go back there. So I would say right now, oh, and then nice scores ball. from the two bar. I would say right now that Ruben has the mental advantage defensively and maybe a little gamesmanship. Uh, he, has, he has a slight edge right now. Yeah, and a little, a little gamesmanship too because he was kind of goading um, Felix into doing certain things, and, and Felix is falling for it. That That's time, nice I think that was out of position. That's um, he went push side, and Ruben's man was out of position to block that. And it's, it's still two two. So this shows you how tight these players are playing. Yeah, both on their home table as well. Mm -hmm. They're just machines on the wow, the flip over sh on the push side again. Ruben's getting all these and in. in we have a sport in the United States called baseball, and there's something called small ball. Just a little bunt, a little tap, stealing a base to score a point. And, uh, and Ruben's playing in the quick push oh, kick. Nice. Felix returns fire. You can see how high quality these, te these techniques are, especially in the offensive, set, because uh, Felix in, on the one side doesn't just depend on his snake shot, but he just chooses some pulls, some slingshots. He even played tic tac at the German net championships, so he's really not sticking to one method if he uh, doesn't have to. And he, he's got a great three bar too. He's finding the shots very easily. He, now he's up four three. Ruben's now playing from behind. And there is another one of those. If he counted those up, I think it's maybe four now. These um, little ticky tack points, and he's excited. And you can't you can't survive off those. <laughs> you got to at some point. Um, and he is, but at some point you have to uh, pass and, and score. You can't expect to get all those. You really can't. Yeah, but it's of course a quality to also see those opportunities and use them as well. This is the this is where your money is made, as we say in the United States. This is the money maker right here. Are you going to put this one down? Are you going to pass and score and take it away from your opponent? Ah, uh, he's taking the time yeah. out. So what do you think? Is he going to score, or is Felix taking his time by time as well? He's, and he's, he's been making these. That. He's been making these points, but we shall see. Oh, that's Not a that nice time. save. Just made it into the, the right corner again, and then yeah. just slapped the door. The quick pass attempt stolen away. Oh, the, the, the lane pass, also a return lane pass, and just missed it. Felix fortunate to have another opportunity. Should make good on it. The clean pass to the five, uh, the midfield area, fighting for the ball. And now I think this one goes in. I think this one goes in because it'd be part of his percentages. Perhaps he's going left this time. Yeah, ah, chooses the right corner yeah. again. That, I that thought just that was a small window. Well, well, we just missed the replay. No, must just missed it. It was is a, a push side, and he's so excited. He got that second opportunity. If Ruben doesn't keep up the consistency, and even he, I think Ruben's got to improve his efficiency because he's been getting a lot of ticky tack points. If he doesn't improve his efficiency, it goes five games. And 
let's look if Felix is uh, now making more technical moves or mm -hmm. is, if he's just going to uh, to crack under the pressure and lose his balls again. Another save, man. He's another save. He's picking up the pace for sure, but he's got executed. And there is another one. Quick stab from the two bar. He's getting out hustled. He's getting out hustled by Ruben. It's not all you can't. It's not all luck. Part of it is Ruben fighting for the ball. And it just dropped out of play right now. Just a ball few seconds just to breathe in again. Yep. He doesn't know where the ball goes. And you see great respect between the two. Yeah. You know, Felix reminds me of Brad Pitt or Brad Pitt's brother. Do you know who Brad Pitt is? Yes, I know who Brad Pitt <laughs> just, is. You never know. <laughs> There's a huge age gap. You? you got Brad Pitt's brother. Oh, he, he's Ruben. Foo's Brad. Perhaps that's Brad Pitt as well. Foo's Brad. <laughs> Ruben is fighting. That's right. He's making all the key little decisions correctly. He's um. He's, he's playing scrappy, and I love a scrappy player. Is that one a, a snappy a really brush awesome now? Pass. Yeah. And uh, kind of a split, kind of a cutback, but he hit it with velocity, and he hit it with determination, and it scored. Yeah, he, he just hit, hit the puppet as well, so yep. it just got a slight angle out of that as well. Right. Wow. Wow. And he's, he's hitting both sides really well. And he's scoring. When he gets it on the three bar, he's not scoring every time, but he's scoring at the right times. And that was a, the 2 1 advantage that's so key. Angle up attempt. Lucky to recover for Felix now on the three bar. He's been scoring well from the three bar when he's had the chances. That time, not so much. Rebound. Ruben hustling for the ball. Quick pass attempt. Oh, clears both lanes. Oh. Did not get the break in and out of the goal without hitting the metal, so it doesn't count. And that now Ruben going two to the five. Yeah, uh, maybe very not. unlucky double post. There. Yes. I uh, missed that shot, so he has built up his attack now again. But I think he's going to score again. I would say that just based on looking at the defense, I think that Felix is the better defender now because <laughs> it just he's I mean it's if Ruben was to take Felix's defense right now he'd have a better shot of blocking oh, ah. and another break and another break and you know at some point you start you stop calling them breaks because uh, he's he's committed to it to the score and the score is happening a nice pass but he didn't quite manage to grasp it He's going two to the five now. I didn't manage to catch it, and so Felix is in possession again. Hey, if you're in our Twitch chat, let us know how many people are watching. We're kind of curious how many people are watching in the chat and now. from where you're watching as well. Yeah, let us know where you're from. Oh, uh, save. Wow. Gets back there reaction. just in time to recover it. So Ruben back with two to the five here. <laughs> you made it back from Belgium, South Africa. Wonderful. Ah, Belgium as well. Uh, oh, greetings from Quebec. Greetings Wall back. pass. What a beauty. India. Slovenia, United States, Netherlands, Netherlands Lithuania. Lithuania, yes. Uh, Australia, and you're calling yourself Galando too. Are you playing Galando in Australia? Not Russell Crowe, somebody else. Give me an actor on the left for the guy on the left. Virginia Beach, Virginia, USA, Texas. Texas, USA. Texas. Belgium, Tennessee. What's up, Tennessee? Battle Creek, Michigan. You know, I'm married and I have kids, but are these the two, the two most beautiful men in foosball? Oh, that, that's a good question. Just uh, saying. Let's ask him in our break. Let's, a, let's ask them during the interview. <laughs> so three to two lead here, Ruben. All these hustle points that are adding up. That ball control is amazing. Oh, that's what I mean. That <laughs> hustle, is. hustle, hustle, timeout. But he's not, Ruben's just out hustling him. And that was one really clever timeout because uh, Heinrich is now dictating the game. Yeah, if he scores this one, uh, style. great block, but he got another possession. 
So he's more switching to the left, perhaps for more opening the right shooting angle. Wow, pull wow. side. Four to two lead here. Blew him out the first two games. Every time he has to score on the three bar, he has, for the most part. He missed that one 4 4 shot, but he got the ball back and made it. So um, Felix has a huge mountain to climb from this point on. Oh, that, that's. Oh, he shot the quick push side, but he, another quick stab attempt gets it back to his three bar hustling again. Where Felix needed to drop that five bar. Block. Beautiful block. Good block. Felix is not out of this yet, and I won't count him out. I won't count him out until Ruben puts it away. Felix is just too skilled, and you can tell, and all he needs is a little bit of daylight. It's just a matter of Ruben's going to let him have any daylight. That's one beauty of a pass. Maybe that's game three right now. That's taking quite some time. Continues ah. to get the positions. And Felix seems a little dejected. And it's not a shame to lose Where's against Strom Heinrich. We've so. got to get back and see. He's blocking now. We've got to see this possession. There it is. Push side. He went push ah, side. He got blocked. again. Yeah. The last three to four shots, uh, that was the defensive masterclass from Felix. Yeah, for sure. And he continues to get possessions. And in a possession game, you just need a, an extra one or two and you win. Let's see, is he going to go push side again? Pulls push side again, and that's it. What an amazing, amazing set of plays by Ruben. We saw someone who wanted it just a little bit more, and everything went his way. Um, I, what I said at the beginning was that if this match happened in two years, Felix wins. But it didn't. It happened today, and Ruben uh, showed the experience and the assertiveness and the aggression to go after the ball. He got every extra possession. He got everything on the five bar. He got all the extra breaks, and he ran away with it.